Hey Aries, and let's see what is in store for September for you guys. If you're new, welcome. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back guys. Let's see. September. Okay. Listen to your intuition here, okay? It's a great time to reflect on goals, even if that goals is love here. You could be meeting the love of your life in September, but it's important to listen to your intuition. Healing family issues. Feel like this is going to be um, some sort of full circle sort of thing with the family sort of. Um, so if you've been already working on that, there'll be some benefit that you'll see now moving forward in your own life. Uh, your love life in benefits as you forgive your parents. So I'm seeing this sort of like come full circle now. You're able to forgive your parents, maybe understand them uh, from a parent perspective uh, here in September. Um, and it'll help you to develop into this self-sufficient, self-proactive, um, beautiful human being moving forward. Your loved ones here will shower you with lots of attention during September. And that's because these issues have been worked out. So it's either come full circle where you can't work it out with them or that now you're getting from them which you never did. So. A great time, people uh, adoring on you and you know splashing love on you. A wonderful time to make effort at a new job. Is it is Virgo season? Okay, is Virgo new moon as I am recording today? So let's see. Um, make sure you give it everything you've got in these situations with family and love in September. Okay, guys. So the old bottom of the deck, eight of cups. So yeah. Definitely this feeling of shutting down what's not meant for you and walking through a new door here uh, in September. Like I said, that new moon gives us that energy, that vitality that we're moving into new beginnings. Let's see the new bottom of the deck for you guys. Seven of Cups. So you've got options here going ahead um, to ensure a stable love life here. Communicate. Communicate because there's some confusion with that Seven of Cups that... Either you or they, you don't know where you stand or they don't know where they stand. So in order to heal any sort of love rifts at the moment, we need communication. And with communication, I would take from this card the word listen. So not to only say your part, but to listen what's being said, even in the unspoken words, right? So we have the justice card here. So yeah, it's that balancing out of karma, that full circle, that understanding, that higher learning process that we've been through here, finally getting some justice, um, being able to be transparent and honest with people leads them to be transparent and honest with you, to be just and fair with you, for you to get the knowledge or the information that you need here in September for this new beginning. Somebody is going to tell you they have been thinking about you here with the Eight of Swords, Four of Wands. Um, they've been thinking maybe even about what you said if we're healing family issues and you spoke to your parents about it or uh, whoever raised you about it or you're speaking to your children. Um, it's this sort of fresh beginning that we're getting a new opportunity to heal what once was confusing and I say confusing because the seven of cups there so it could just be different generational curses that needed to be broken and understood and we didn't get it because everybody was talking but nobody was listening so I feel like somebody has some deep reflection going on and it could be you if it's goals that you're trying to reach financially you could be looking back at work you've already done and where it went wrong and where you want to improve in that okay and here you are lovely Aries queen of wands ready to take action ready to pick yourself up after this healing uh, and start to move forward into this new beginning but like I say somebody here has you on their mind okay let's see nine of wands uh this is somebody that you've blocked or blocked you here um i feel like you've blocked these people out for a fresh start if that's the case they're thinking about everything that's been said between you all 
in these family issues there that we spoke of or in this love connection right um so i do sense that there'll be people once they thought about everything you've said and the path you've chosen they will want to come towards and connect you because the nine here nine of wands is an end of a cycle and i feel like you just put down the burden that wasn't yours you're no longer doing for other people when other people aren't doing for you. You're just ready to walk away and uh, have this new beginning. Page of Wands. So then they apologise here. I'm sorry um, that you feel this way. I didn't mean it to happen this way. Um, I feel like somebody has owed you an apology for a long time and they may not have given it. They could have just blocked you and walked away. Um, so you're deciding to stop holding on to that and begin a new romantic connection here in September. So if you're single, uh, I see a new romantic connection coming here as well. Yeah, <laughs> there's the judgment telling us that it's time. It's divine time in here. What you've been waiting for is coming towards you. And like I said, that full circle feeling is like a new beginning is coming your way. Um, so with this, um, this trump's been blown. It's like you're telling somebody, time up, I'm done waiting for you. Um, you blocked me, you ran away. You did everything that took more effort than to come towards me and say sorry. Um, so I feel like you've put a time stamp on that and you're just moving on with it. And the divine agrees with you here. If they're thinking about you, let them think about you. They're not really acting in any of these cards. You're the one who's acting. Um, you're moving forward, you're letting go, you're letting go of the burden here and ending these cycles, yep. This will be quite a surprise to them that you're not running back to them and you're not going to continue carrying their way or carrying this relationship. Um, you're just ending it, you're letting it go. I don't even feel like you need to say it anymore. You're just like, uh, let the tower come down. So we do see a tower in September, um, but... I don't feel like it's surprising to you. It may be surprising to others if it's to do with people who have already crossed your path, let's say. If this is somebody new, this is a surprise romantic connection. The divine is sneaking into your life here. Yep, you don't see this offer coming and this is why it's a surprise. A little bit bored and fed up with the offers that you've been getting of soulmates. So uh, be on the lookout for a new kind of soulmate here coming into your life, the full. Um, so yeah, you're ready to take this leap of faith. And the divine here saying, jump because this is uh, what you're sick and tired of. Yeah, this is a new person coming towards you. Something you're totally uh, not expecting. It's because you've let go of old karmic cycles here with the justice card that we can now allow true love in. Beauty queen here. Of course you are, you're an Aries. <laughs> Freedom. Um, so it's like, you know that Sam Smith song, Too Good at Goodbyes? If somebody isn't stepping up, you are happy to free yourself from their baggage when you know it's not yours. Um, even, I guess, with these family situations, you're happy to move on and let go rather than be under somebody else's control here. So, yeah, let them go. Yeah, let them talk, let them go. You take this leap of faith in the right direction because getting caught up with these sorts of things blocks your blessings, guys. Okay, so... Like I said, just to recap that in September, we see great opportunities coming your way. We see you letting go of things that have been weighing you down and a surprise love interest. After healing family issues, you're able to move forward into better relationships. Now you've bettered yourself. Good luck.